Hello there, Brett speaking. Today on this edition of Finishing Touches, I'll be finishing up these spore mines and this gargoyle. As well, I'll be talking to you about my first apocalypse size game in preparation for the new apocalypse rules. Welcome to Finishing Touches. If you want to know what colors we'll be using, we will be using hex Flame for the toxin effects on the mines, Null Noil for both the mines and the gargoyle, Ushapti Bone for the claws on the mines, and Mud Green for any color corrections that we may have to do. If one of these spore mines looks off, it's because it's a duplicate. As a cheap mid shield or sacrificial unit, I'm planning on building a large amount of these, and duplicating the model is the cheapest route to go. For the mines paint job, I chose to focus on portraying their toxic nature using only greens and blues, with occasional bone thrown in. Since the models want to last long on the table before respawning, it also lets me batch paint an absurd amount of them too. Here I'm touching any mistakes I made while playing the Shafty Bone with Mud Green. At this point, it's okay to make mistakes. Well, that is drawing. I'd like to talk to you about my first apocalypse size game, right before the new rule set comes out on the 7th. As a fact about me. I live in Mexico, where GW stores do not exist, but my gaming group has found one of the nicest places to play in the form of the Quest Hobby Store. For this big game, we have planned a 2 vs 2 clash between Tyranids and Imperium, but on arrival at the store, the game grew by one person on each side, as the store manager is there, joined in with a Kraken and Talarn Force to boost each side. This is one of the most beautiful aspects of Quest, their mentality of build a friend first, a customer second. Disclaimer, none of our lists were optimized for matched play, they weren't even very good, and as such the Tyranids got pushed back in turn 3, but the game was crazy fun, and it serves to be able to compare how the new rule set holds up when we play again, especially cutting down time. On the narrative side, the store manager's hype fleet now has a name, and since the color scheme is very similar to mine, We'll be playing as a team in an upcoming Apocalypse event, Quest will be hosting, and in future narrative games. For almost all my armies, I like to give them a very heavy wash. This serves to provide a dark mood to the army and to cover any areas of grey primer I may have missed in a blind spot. The only place I try to avoid too much pulling is the eyes. Now all that's left is to let the gargoyle dry fully and then remove the masking tape covering the flying stock. For the first part of the toxin effect I'll be applying hex flame over all the green parts and correcting any overlaps off camera while it dries.
To finish off all the mines and complete the effect, I'm using Null Noil. Effects wise, this gives the effect of very thin skin covering a sack of churning toxins, like a lethal water balloon. After drawing and painting the base rooms off camera, this is the end result. Thank you for watching. Liking and subscribing really helps the channel grow and improve, as does any support on Patreon.